afternoon from a rainy Padang in West Sumatra. It can be raining outside, but as long as it's nice inside, I can still have a great day in Padang. But it's a really important food city, and that's because it's a port city. And so historically, it's been somewhere that people from other countries have come from for trading. And so it has a lot of influences from Malaysia, from India, uh, Pakistan, all of those rich spices. So food in West Sumatra, food in Padang is very different. And that makes it a really exciting place to stay for a couple of days, or if you're like me, a couple of weeks, so that you can eat. We are starting with soto. Soto is a soup that's famous throughout Indonesia, but they have a very specific recipe in Padang. Alan has assured me that this place is amazing. He's been coming here since he was a kid and he said it's been open in Padang since before he was a kid. Now I've had different kinds of soto. In Jakarta I had soto ayam, which is one of the national dishes of Indonesia. And it was in a broth with bean sprouts and chicken. That's not what this is at all. The only thing that's the same is actually that it has a broth. And so you can have lots of different kinds of soto here, but we're having the very typical, the special soto of Padang. And that's soto nasi paru, which is beef lung. Because beef here in West Sumatra is the most important meat. Uh, unlike chicken, which is actually very expensive here. So beef lung is what you want to get. And instead of having those bean sprouts, actually, you have these noodles, you've got some potato, I see some onion. It's served with a side of rice and these red crackers. And of course, you've got crispy shallots. Alan actually showed me that what I would have done was completely wrong. I mean, I've got this soup here, and then I would have taken the rice and put it into the soup. And then I did see the condiments, so I knew to add those. Um, but I would have actually not known that I have to do the opposite. He showed me how to eat it. So you take the soup and you put it onto the rice. And the reason that you do that is because if you put the hot soup onto the rice, the rice keeps cooking. So you're actually gonna overcook the rice. It's gonna just be overcooked and soggy. So don't do that because rice is life. Mm. Wow, that beef lung is so tender and it almost, the seasoning on, a, on it almost tastes like it's been preserved a little bit. It's thin, but it almost seems like maybe they pan fried it a little bit so it's thin and tender but also crispy. And then these noodles are cooked perfectly. Mm. This is the perfect meal for a rainy day. It's so good. Right, guys if you are snacky if you're into having chips and you have a savory tooth like me this is the place to go so there are a number of places to get snacks but um, Alan said he likes this place the best because it's light bright very clean and staff here are so friendly and he's just found something that he thinks I might like to eat what is this one banana Oh, banana, spicy banana? Uh, not, so, not so spicy. What is the red sauce? Uh, sweet and spicy sauce. Sweet and spicy, let's get one of those. We have awesome. another one also, like from tapioca. Basically it's from tapioca, but we have another one from banana. I think banana is good. All right, so this is the banana in sweet and spicy. It's like crispy banana. Mmm, this is really good. So. Alan told me he recommends this store because everyone here is so nice, and I agree. They've got lots of things for us to try. This is a great place for souvenirs, but you will fill your whole bag with this stuff because it's so good. Ah, so you have noodle topping on it. Me, on top. Satay sauce. Sate sauce, Sate cool. Sauce. All right, let's try it. Krupuk kwa sate padang. So krupuk is the cracker, kwa sate, which is the sauce. You've got two types of noodles on it. So you've got the regular mi, the regular noodle, and then you've also got this vermicelli called bihul. 
And then on top of it, they put some spicy sauce. So this is the tapioca. You can either eat it like a pizza if you want, or if you want, you can also break it off. This is only 6,000 rupiah. We're outside the stadium here where they've also kind of turned it into the spot, which is almost like a, an outdoor food area. When the weather is nice, everyone is out sitting, eating, enjoying the weather. Mmm, good sauce. Satay sauce is really good. Oh, it's getting spicier, but still really tasty. And then you've got that crunch, the cracker. Mm. This is a street food that you can find all over Indonesia, but it started here in Padang. It is a traditional, not so traditional food of Padang. Mm. Inevitably, when you come to Indonesia, you are going to have satay. You can find it all over Indonesia. It is one of the five national foods of Indonesia. However, when you come to Padang, they have a very special satay padang. Now, of course, because this is a city, you can get different types of satay here. Normally, you'll be accustomed to that like orangish yellow curry sauce that comes with a satay. But here in Padang, they also have a separate one. Satay padang actually has this iconic red sauce. To make this red sauce, what they do is they take the water from the meat that they boiled for the satay. The meat is boiled and then it's marinated in spices. And then the sauce has so many ingredients that Alan found out for me and you know she has no problem telling us because we're never going to get this right. But it has red chili, uh, galangal, lemongrass leaves, coriander, turmeric, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, cumin, ginger, salt, pepper, there's a lot that goes into this and then they simmer this and it makes a deep red sauce and they serve it on ketupak, which is a rice cake. And then they top it with fried shallots because everything is better with fried shallots. Now at Sate Lawe, we're just here in the evening. Uh, once the sun goes down, that's when some of the best food really comes out. This is one of the spots you'll find. We're just on the side of the road. They're here every night. Whoa! Oh my god, this is good. This is so tender. It's very thin slices of beef with a fried shallot on it. It's so tender. That's spicy enough. Just a hint of spice. This whole plate is only 20,000. the street from Sate La Way is another fantastic restaurant that you need to try. It is called Ampera Singalang and it is a four generation restaurant that serves traditional food from Padang. In fact, if you see the word Ampera, it means that it's a Padang restaurant and then Singalang refers to the mountain just outside of Bukitingi and the original owner, the first generation was actually from there. They've got lots of really great traditional Padang foods here. And of course, we're going to try the most famous, and that is rendang. Rendang is one of Indonesia's five national foods, and I think probably the most well-respected, and that is because it takes so much time to make. Earlier this month, I actually learned how to make it with someone from home. They say the best rendang is at someone's house, but if you can't go to someone's house, this is a really great option. Now, rendang is a dish that is traditional Minang cuisine. The Minang Kabao people who were semi-nomadic and so they needed a method of preservation that would actually preserve meat so that they could travel. And so that is what this is. Not eaten every day. Very much a special dish because it is a little bit expensive. Although this whole plate, which has pieces of rendang, I've got some crackers, some bean sprouts, and then two types of rice, one with a fish curry sauce, another with a chicken gulai curry sauce, is only 21,000. Mmm, it's so good. It's really, really good. Rendang isn't too spicy. You definitely get the hit of the chili, but 
It's been simmered for a long time. You can see it. It's so dark. And, oh, it's just like the best kind of stewed beef you're ever gonna have. The one thing you need to eat in Indonesia is rendang. You can have it all over Indonesia. You can have it in Jakarta. Maybe you go to Bali. Maybe they have it there. But it's not the same as eating it in its home, eating rendang in Padang. I'm here at a breakfast spot, one of the best coffee shops in the city, one of the best places to go for breakfast. I come here every day. Every day I order something different. It's amazing. This place is so delicious and I wanted to share a very traditional Indonesian breakfast in West Sumatra and it is called Lonton Sayur. Now Lonton Sayur is a compressed rice that is boiled and because we're in West Sumatra it's actually in a goulet sauce so it's in a curry sauce which is very typical of this region. We're going to get some of this jackfruit, a little bit of this lonton. Mm. A really flavorful curry sauce. And this compressed rice is just, it's almost like a nice soft potato. And the jackfruit definitely tastes like meat. I know a lot of vegans eat jackfruit as a meat substitution. And of course we've got keropuk mera, which means literally red cracker. Mm. Amazing breakfast. I love breakfast in Indonesia. I love the savory breakfast. In Canada, I don't usually eat breakfast because I don't like pancakes and waffles and that kind of thing. But here, amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video about food in Padang. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.